What is up? Welcome back. So this is the part two that's not a part two. So we're still at Patchy's cave. We found him. And what we're going to do is open his chest. Because let's face it, you're going to do it, aren't you? Well, well, well. I should have known, you skinny little thief. <laughs> That's pot calling the petal, kettle black. Ah, oh. hmm. I thought it sent us to the Celia Crystal Tunnels. Okay, my bad. Well, it's brought us here anyway. So we've literally jumped from there, just to here. Oh, is there anything we really need to do here? Hmm. Let's see, the Cellular Crystal Tunnels are actually over here. But I'll tell you what, bollocks to it. We're going to change it slightly here. So in the last video that accompanied this part, I said I'd take you to where we can get a nice uh, shit ton of runes for next to no work. All you're going to need is some kind of weapon that can do blood bleed damage. That's it. So where we're going to be heading to... Uh, I always get confused with this one. Or far off is it? And castle. Yeah, Fort Far off. So, where we're we going to go from here? We're going to go here. We're going to stop in the Church of Marika just to see if there's a grace there and to pick up a golden seed. And from there, we're going to head hmm. the easiest way. We're basically going to make our way over to this main road here. Depending on look at? tell you what, we'll just get to the church first. I'll have a look just to see what the cliff's like here, see if it's doable or if we're gonna have to go this way around. Anywho, don't worry too much about them, they can run fast. Uh, but hopefully we're not gonna disturb them too much. ones notice us. Is he following us? Oh, piss off bear. I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio. If you've seen The Revenant, you'll know what I mean. When I was a young warthog. Ah, when I said about uh, creating your summing things, that's an early flower. You go into item crafting. Fool calling finger remedy. Basically, it's just what you use to, uh, uh, let's say, show any summons, show people around you, put summons down. And also makes you available to be summoned as well. So we're just gonna um, craft a few. Now I don't use them that often, but you see I've got 51. They're pretty abundant. You know they the early flowers are everywhere. Now these churches generally you find. Uh, 
Yeah, I thought so. You find Gracie's in here. Just rest. Oh, sorry, I forgot we got to talk to Melina. Melina. So just exhaust the dialogue, put I'm interested. And we'll go pick up our sacred tear. Uh, sacred tears, golden seeds, they're all to do with flasks. Similar to the Esther shards you used to get in the Souls games. So you go on a flasks. Uh, mine are maxed out, but you can add charge to a flask, which is how many flasks you hold. This one is how much the flasks refill your health, and then you can allocate flasks depending what build you're. If you were a, a mage, for example, you know you probably four health, ten uh, magic. Now, that kind of tends to do it for me. 10 health, 4 for my magic, because I'm a bit of a multi-built, mostly faith, uh, but I'm a bit of a, a mixture of builds. So there's the cliff, so it's a good job we had a look first. So what we're going to have to do... And you can see there, there's a nice little path up. And you've got these, you little... Oh, may as well just kill him. Sacred Blade. Good for killing undead. Boom. Don't worry about the wolves. Oh shit, forgot to press jump. And then we'll just do one final little jump. And you can s make sure... Yeah. So what we can do is let's just take this road the whole way. Now what I would suggest, uh, anytime you come near one of these churchy, oh, now he's just got off the horse automatically. Now if that happens, it's generally a sign you're about to be invaded. There we go. Just rolled straight through that bad boy. Now, I generally find jumping attacks work really well. Oh, you dirty bitch. Should have just left me alone. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Ten points to whoever guess is where that line, what movie that came from. Don't start nothing or be nothing. Okay, and as usual, we'll just have a quick little rest. Oh, she's back again. Fucking hell, woman. Forgive me to determine if you yeah, you have been testing me. Torrent, whereas I may there is, but I can take gathering so, she's talking about round table hold. Du, 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 du. Very well. Okay, we'll do it just so it's... Uh, it's there, but as soon as we get there, we're going to shoot straight on back to here. Just skip through this. OK, 
Okay, we're not going to worry too much about that yet. Going to head back to here. Smouldering church. Now what I like to do, just in case I come across enemies, to hand my sword when I'm on horseback. Just get, makes your damage a little bit tougher. Also, if you press the, the two hand buttons, you can swap so your shield is there. So then you can attack with your shield on both sides. And using the right triggers, you can shield yourself. Now, a lot of the enemies in this area will be a little too, way too tough for you to tackle. Even at late game, some of the enemies still end up one-shotting you. It's just one of the issues I have with Elden Ring, is the, the balancing, balancing of enemies. The fact you're going to have just some ran random enemy who's tougher than actual boss. And where are we here? Forsaken Runes. Okay. So, I don't think... It says I'm... I'm doing all this from memory. Don't think there's anyone around you that we need to speak to. A lot of these little areas that you'll find. We'll have somebody, an NPC, usually knocking around. Perversing boluses, so they help to cure scarlet rot. Just a little point to note as well. These, uh, sorry, the Graces, they leave a little mark directing you. Uh, so if you take them in order, they kind of give you a very rough idea of where to go to get back on the actual main game quest. Beauty about Elden Ring is that you don't ah uh, some more birdly flowers. Uh, good thing about Elden Ring is you don't have to stick to the main track. You can just get out and about. Ooh, oh, the power of this sword. And that's why it's a badass sword. In case you're wondering, this is the Sacred Relic Sword. It's one of the items you can exchange a boss soul for after you've completely the, killed the end boss. Now, from here, where we're literally heading, now your map may not be unmarked, but we're literally almost in a straight line to here. Uh, to make it easy, you can just follow the road all the way along. And as you go along, you'll come across markers where you can pick up maps. Now, they are little bastards, they are. Even end game, they can still kick your ass. Quickly, come on! There. Uh, where are we now? Caleb Ruins. Now, what I like to do anytime you come across these ruined areas, it's worth uh, having a little look around. Especially early game, if you're unlucky, there'll be some kind of boss. If you if you are lucky, uh, you'll just come across a, a nice chest, useful weapon or spell or something. 
it's not always clear where the entrance is to these places. Uh, generally, they'll be in the biggest, biggest part. Oh shit! Bastards. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe in here. There we go. Don't worry about the enemies. Uh, looks like we may have a boss. Never mind, let's see who it is. Oh, it's these bad boys. Now with these guys, it's best to try and get behind them. Because they use their helmets kind of like a shield. So just stay behind them. what our reward is ba -da -ba -ba -ba. a visage shield never use it myself but just so you can see what it is I mean it's quite a uh, heavy shield 24 pretty ugly thing and if you hold the attack button hold down the L2 sorry you get a nice burst of flame which you can uh, move around but you know it's you gotta have strength 44 to wield it that's quite a lot of strength for early game and as I said with uh, these type of so I just if you uh, if you master parrying you know, some people will play through this game with no shield at all. And they'll just parry every enemy. My myself, I've never really been good at parrying. I can pull it off sometimes. I'll piss off. But I'll die m more times than I'll, pa I'll get a parry. Uh, let me just check where I am. Fucking hell, piss off. Unfortunately, you can't check your map if there's an enemy around. Now you can see just in the distance that there, that's where we're heading. Now, what I'd suggest if we're in the right place, are we in the right place yet? So you can see the only way to get across is up here. Now if you look up there, that is the Divine Tower of Caled. It's where you can find... Hmm, I don't want to say an amazing weapon. I personally don't like it. But it's where you can find the God's, uh, the God Slayer Great Sword. Now these uh, gold rune, little runes, you can sell them or whatnot. If you get enough of them, they soon add up. Really, good little tip as you go along and you find these things. Don't do what I've always done and let's just sell everything as soon as you get it. I've always done that. Then got to an area where. A certain boss is weak to a certain weapon. I've gone to have a look and I've sold that weapon. Then you find out at a later time it was an amazing weapon. Now, so where I am, okay. So we're still heading to that little castle in the distance. What I'm looking for is you're traveling along. Obviously that's your point of reference to keep that on the left. 
just keep on heading up. And what we're looking for is that wall. Just can you see, so you can see we've got your tower there. And you keep that on your left, wall keep that on your right. I know it breaks away a little bit there, but you can see it continues here. And we're basically just following this all the way along. And now what I'd say... Uh, it's not too bad here. You can keep to the right of this little wall, which will keep these dragons away from you. Now if you see that massive structure there, that's a dragon that's just sleeping. Now that shit in your pants, we're going to kill that dragon. And you can see here, here's our little uh, grace. Just rest a little. Now what I'm going to try and do also is a this this little glitch that you can do is just as the boss is about to die he twitches and then apparently if you race back to the bonfire and rest it respawns the boss but you get all the souls and then rinse and repeat. I don't know if that's true. So what you're going to want to do is equip your blood weapon. Some of you may have a blood katana or blood cestus the little fists whatever your best blood weapon is uh, just use that because he's susceptible to blood uh, blood loss build up 84 oh yeah we'll go for this so we've got the little wraith here. now this is a very interesting little weapon you can get it's called the remember anything the Antspur rapier you literally get it from my place in this area later on now what's unique about it it comes with rot damage as standard which other weapons do however this one allows you to add an ashes of war so basically you can have rot add some blood And you can have rot and blood damage at the same time. So when I'm attacking this geezer, he's going to be getting attacked with uh, blood and rot. Let's pick up some of these. Now, best place to attack him. Now he'll make a lot of fucking whining noise, but he's not going to come alive and get you. If he comes alive go back and respawn. Now, thankfully somebody's put a little message there, but what we're going to do alright, don't worry, that's the other dragons and you quickly, briefly, you'll see his health bar pop up there Now what you'll see, don't, just keep an eye on that, it doesn't seem like it's doing much to him, but look at that, big jump then. So if you just want to uh, fast forward this where he dies just keep an eye out for that dragon don't want him coming over here keep your little horse summon there because like I said we're going to try this together we'll see if it even still works I mean the developers haven't fixed this glitch what it is because this health bar is so massive you're basically just like an ant 
scratching, scratching at him. Well, at least that's that's how I see it, which is why he doesn't uh, retaliate. Now you can see I'm inflicting uh, rock damage, which is why you can see his health bar going down. Stop, 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 stop. So what I'm going to quickly do is quit that. And what we're waiting for is to see him flinch. Any second now. He's going to flinch. There. So race back. Race back. Race back, race back, race back. I don't know if this will work. We'll see. So we've got his souls. And a dragon's heart. Nah, didn't work. Don't know. You know, maybe uh, they fixed, fixed it. Or maybe I didn't do anything right. The little video I saw. As soon as you see him flinch you like it back to the bonfire. However, you can see you've just gained a shit ton of runes, runes, souls, whatever they want to call them. Uh, and that should set you up nicely for the beef nutty character. So what you'll do now is head back to the lost table thingamajig, round table hold, and you can spend all those juicy little souls you've got. Um, but for now, that's it really. And like I says, we changed it. It started out off as second bot to patch. Uh, but yeah, I'd say that was just a quick vid on how you get the dragon and get a nice massive chunk of runes. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching and toodaloo!